Hey, this is Rubber Cheese. Uh, this is a supplemental video for my Ecobee uh, Smart Thermostat review and demos. And in this video, I'm just going to show you the Ecobee web portal and show a couple of cool things that you can do on it that you can't do from the app or the thermostat itself. So let me just get logged in. All right, so I've just typed in my credentials and everything's loading. All right, so this is the portal. Um, everything on the left, for the most part, you can do from either the web app, or sorry, the phone app, uh, or the thermostat itself. So you can actually change set points on your um, thermostat. You can change settings. Um, you can check your weather, set vacation mode, uh, check reminders. There is one unique thing that I'm going to get back to shortly. Um, the main things are the ability to create comfort settings, which you can't do anywhere else. So with Ecobee by default, there's an away mode, a home mode, and a sleep mode. That's all there is. Um, those are probably the correct amount of modes for most people. Um, but it is nice to have the option to create additional modes. So back when I got this thermostat a couple of years ago, I didn't have an exhaust fan in one of my bathrooms. So I wanted it so that in the summer, my furnace fan would run for maybe an hour after we left in the morning, after we had our showers, um, without actually having the AC on. So for that reason, I made this mode. It's got a pretty warm set, set uh, point so that the AC won't be running, but I've got it set so that the fan's gonna be running nonstop. So this worked out really well. Eventually we put in an exhaust fan so we don't use it anymore, but that was pretty nice to have the option to make that. Um, this, the, the custom comfort setting that we still use is the weekend day. So as you can see during the heating season, the temperature is exactly the same as our normal home mode at 72, um, but the cooling temperature is different. So the reason for this is in the summer, uh, we tend to be in and out a lot and so we don't want the AC to be kicking itself on unless we manually tell it to. Uh, so this is why we have the weekend day mode the way it is. Um, it's kind of cool to have that and just know that if we're not home, we're not air conditioning the house for no reason. And then of course in the winter, we're generally home, so we just we want it to operate normally. So the other pretty cool thing is the home IQ, but first I just want to show you one additional setting in the portal. So it's under settings and property characteristics. It allows you to type in some basic information about your house. And that makes these reports that I'm about to show you um, be more relevant because it's showing um, reports uh, compared to houses similar to yours. So I'm going to go to the home IQ mode now. And there's four different things. So the first is the runtime report. Um, from what I understand, this is this shows your system runtime compared to having a dumb thermostat set at 72 degrees running 24 seven. So essentially by having a programmable thermostat, um, it's saying that I'm saving, I saved 26 hours of runtime in December. The community comparison and home efficiency comparisons um, or rankings, I believe are based on how fast the inside temperature deviates from the outside temperature over time. Um, I'm not really sure how accurate these are, but they're kind of interesting just to see. And I'm gonna to go to system monitor because to me, this is by far the most interesting part of the portal. So what this shows is all of the, um, all, all, all information at a given point in time. So this updates every five minutes. Um, up here, anytime there's orange, it says that the thermostat is calling for the heat to run. This here bar is showing that the fan's running. Now I've got it set so that my fan only runs when the heat's running, so that makes sense that they're the same. Um, this orange bar down here is the set point. So we can kind of see that right at three o'clock, my set point goes from 65 degrees up to 72 degrees. And then the white line here, this is the actual inside temperature. And you'll notice that the inside temperature actually got below the set point. I have a threat, 
I've set my threshold to allow the inside temperature to go a degree below my set point before the furnace kicks on. Um, so that sort of explains that. And then down here, this is the outdoor temperature. So you can kind of see how that fluctuates over time. Um, because I allow for a one degree threshold, um, my furnace is cycling on a little bit less frequently than if I only allowed the default half a degree. Um, but because I allow a degree of variation, these um, ups and downs are a little bit um, steeper than they would otherwise be. You can do something similar with humidity. And you can also go to schedule, which shows essentially the same chart or graph, but instead of when it's calling for heat versus cooling, instead it's showing if you have the home versus away versus um, evening or sleeping mode. The other interesting monitor is the weather impact. And so for each day, it shows how many hours your heating, in this case, was running um, relative to the average outdoor temperature, which is this line in black. So generally, the colder the weather um, and the lower this, this black line is, the longer, the, the more the heat's going to be running and the longer these bar graphs are going to be. Um, January is a little bit better. So we can kind of see in the warmer days, the heat wasn't running quite as much, whereas these colder days, it was running a little bit more. So anyways, that pretty much sums it up for the Ecobee web portal. Um, it's pretty pretty cool to have. I, I really, it's interesting to me, uh, some of the things in the home IQ mode, and it is very nice being able to create a new comfort setting. So if you haven't already, um, see the description below for a link to my Ecobee thermostat review and demo. And also, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I put out pretty um, detailed reviews and demos about various sort of household products. Uh, and I'd love it if you'd become a subscriber. Um, if you found this review helpful, please uh, like it. And if there's something you didn't like about it or you've got any other questions, leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching.